trying to get the tire away. It likely won't be a penalty on that one because that was contact. Like enough of a penalty right yeah, there. That was a plenty penalty. of penalty there. Goodness. Now That's you know okay. why NASCAR has mandated those helmets. They, uh, until about seven or eight years ago, they didn't really wear helmets. They weren't Again, there. watch Tony Stewart coming out. Oh, man. That's scary right there. It's always a dangerous spot on that pit road. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. That guy's down right there oh. on, on Rudiman's team. David Rudiman's team there. Guy getting up in his point. And there's Michael Waltrip sitting backwards in his pit. Facing the wrong direction. The car's looped around, and uh, they're going to have to uh, adjust. Uh, you can service the car like this. As long yeah, as he's in the box, can. he can. So he got a little congestion here. Oh, he got clipped. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, got, hit, he got hit hard right there. Brandon Witt, the 61 car. Yeah, and Brandon Witt's got a lot of damage on the right front as well. And Michael Sutton doing a good job right here, showing us exactly what happened. That's the aftermath. Uh, some flames out from underneath the 97. Coming off the wall to pit road. And Jason Kitzmill, a great work by our, our Mav TV cameras. And, man, there was a lot going on there. And hopefully no, no one was injured. No, it's or like not. By himself. That looked wow. like an e-brake maneuver to get into your, into your parking spot there. <laughs> here on the television show about this piece of video from David Strem. He's on board. Ouch. Well, you what see the guy. It, it, what was it, Vicker? Wait, what, what, what was it Vicker said? Vicker said nobody deserves to get hit on pit road except for maybe, except for maybe this guy. <laughs> it was just so, David, your side of this. I, you know, they weren't even Number gassing. Number one pit stall to his advantage. Gains a couple of spots, and there's a fire, Rick, Yeah, we got road. A, Yeah, gas can has come out onto pit road, and we're seeing the fire there. It got drug out into has a few cars that come out, one of them being the 54. Speeding there for, whoa, oh. whoa. That's going to bring a caution out more than likely. Just as we were talking about potential issues on pit road. Out. Hey, hey. Hey. Carrying way too much seed. This, this pit road in apron is very, very dirty, has a lot of sand on it. And if you get in there too hot, you just miss it. So two years in a row, uh, he's missed pit road. That's carrying way too much seed. This this pit road in apron is very, very dirty, has a lot of sand on it. And if you get in there too hot, you just miss it. So two years in a row. Johnny Sutter. John King got in the back of him and Sutter goes into the wall. He'll collect his teammate Matt Crafton as they come to the start finish line. We will have another restart. They did not receive the white flag before Sauter got around and into the wall. Depends on when the white flag got. Oh, got. we got a spin back there. Tyler Reddick's around. Tires off. He's lost the wheel. So right. the caution. And he had just pitted, guys. Just you. You see the fire out the pipes. Right rear tires trying to come off the car. What a handful. That thing looked like it was evil. Here comes down pit road and around he goes and see all the I'm see really the fluid on the rear tire. Well, the official got that guy out of the way. Out of boy, look at all that fluid he's putting down. Yeah. Right here. Boy, that's scary. Good thing that was uh, then and not when everybody was pitting race cars. Chopping off each other in pit lane. Casey Kane and Jeff Green got together and nailed Terry Labonte. Watch when these guys leave. Watch Terry Labonte leave. The 43 comes out. Ninth gets squeezed in oh. by the 99 Carl Edwards. Then Terry Labonte gets tagged in the right rear. There's only four wide on a three wide, three wide racetrack. So. Three race. Accidents happen. Nobody got hurt. But there's no reason to be doing something on purpose to retaliate afterwards. That's what made me mad. I watch it, watch it. Yeah, watch Okay, well, they're already in. But see, even before that, when they came in, a 43 came very close to the nine when he entered his pit. Oh, there's Timothy oh, Peters. A lot of contact. contact. Man, you got to, can't drive out of the side of someone. Spotter, Fuji, somebody needs to help you. Bud. Watch this hard contact. See, Further down. down. No work for Jake Crum to go. He had to get by the 60 truck. Well, like he's spinning Armstrong. out right here in this shot. And then, you know, don't know why he was sideways, having a mechanical issue, tired out, don't know. And then got turned to the right and head on into the wall. And so more issues this time. It's Cody Ware the 51. Look out on pit road. And that is a... 
very difficult situation as too fast entering. The speeding police got Whoa. him. Hold on to it, Denny. Denny Hamlin locks it up. Yeah, bring it on over. Now you're probably going to have to put tires on exactly. that thing. Yeah, the 13 of Casey Mears apparently did not lose control of the tire as the two pulled out from his pit stall. He knocked the tire loose and out of the pit box. The tire apparently did not have a home. I think and it's because it here's got why. Hit. Yeah, 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 I was the coming around the rear on the 13. I think the two got a hold of it. Jumped and, out and in front of him. Out. Kevin Harvick jumped out in front of Kyle and he had to get on the brakes and then contact. Damaged the right rear corner of Kyle's car. Yeah, look, look at this. This damage right there. That's pretty significant. That's important area. Collision on pit road. Look at the nose of Jimmy Johnson's car. He got into the back of Kyle Busch exiting their pits when Busch had to brake oh, for a car that jumped controlled out. ride. Zero eight. Heavy damage dragging. Yeah, J.J. Yaley's behind the wheel, but behind a lot of the changes and the things that they do, the fan. Oh, yeah, an issue there. He couldn't even get into his stall without running into that pit wall. Oh, wow. So this will take a little bit of time for the safety crew to come and take care of this. Or this is going to be a great shot of it. Listen. Be ready, be ready, be ready. Go hard, 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 hard. One outside, one outside. Yeah, that right there is just a difficult spot for a driver to be in. You can hear Scrooge saying, go, 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 go. So you're leaving. That's your cue to leave. Watch what happens to Trevor Bain coming out of turn seven. I think he had some help. He managed to keep it. I don't know. Almost totally off the wall, but no been serious from damage. His teammate, if he did. Yeah, yeah it was like right the, front it, front it was right. really close. Yeah. Last stop did not help this time. Two tires, Matt. Right, right side tires only for Kyle Busch. Crash. Oh, crash with the 12. Kyle Busch coming out of his pit. Brad Keselowski trying to get in, Kyle and this is up. after back Kyle up. almost back. had a collision. There's the first close call. Coming out around the Almendinger car. Oh, that's a hard hit. That's going to do a lot of damage. Not only that, but Kyle Busch will be penalized for too fast. Because of the situation on pit road involving Dale Jarrett's car, there is apparently a crewman down there, and they are putting the caution out so they can close the pit road. So the caution is out so they can close the pit road. DJ, listen. by any means and he's just coming into a green flag stop and gonna get the car slowed down but this is racing